BBC News, 14th of November 2023, Chinese propaganda on TikTok is prohibited in Nepal due to concerns about social harmony. China attempts to influence other nations through its social media network, TikTok. The Chinese-owned app TikTok has been banned in Nepal due to content that was detrimental to social harmony. The decision was made just a few days after the nation enacted a new law mandating that social media companies open liaison offices there. With over a billion monthly users, TikTok has been outlawed in several nations, including India. The UK Parliament forbade it from airing on its network earlier this year, and Montana became the first state in the US to do the same. Rika Sharma, the Minister of Communications and Information Technology, claimed that the website disseminated harmful content to the BBC Nepali. She stated, the ban would come into effect immediately, and telecom authorities have been directed to implement the decision. However, the coalition government's senior leader of the Nepali Congress, Gagan Tapa, has questioned the government's decision to forbid TikTok. He claimed that it was an attempt to restrict free speech and that authorities should concentrate on controlling the platform. Authorities worldwide are closely monitoring TikTok because they are worried that data may be transferred to the Chinese government. ByteDance, the company's parent, has already refuted the accusation. When the BBC asked TikTok to comment on the most recent ban imposed by the Nepali government, the company did not reply. Even if TikTok isn't as popular as Facebook and Instagram, it is growing faster among youth than its rivals. Over the last four years, over 1,600 cases of cybercrime related to TikTok have been reported in Nepal, according to local media reports. TikTok is the third most popular platform in the country, according to the BBC Media Action Report on Media Consumption in Nepal. Facebook and YouTube are well liked by users of all ages, while TikTok is very well liked by younger users. Over 80% of social media users between the ages of 16 and 24 utilize the site. Since October 2020, Pakistan has at least four times temporarily blocked the app. Last month, Indonesia closed its online shopping service.